and conditions. Take this drill ship operating in heavy seas. It needs to maintain its position for safe operation. Many generators are forced to work hard under challenging conditions in order to meet the very dynamic power demand. The ship's engineers face an uphill task of ensuring the power system is online. However, energy storage systems offer a smarter alternative. It can assist the power system to meet power peak demands, otherwise known as peak. ABB has developed a revolutionary system philosophy for power distribution. It involves using direct current as the main energy carrier between generators and large consumers. This eliminates main switchboards and transformers. We call it the onboard DC grid. ABB's first delivery of the onboard DC system was to the 93 meter long 5,000 deadweight ton Dina Star a multi-purpose offshore supply and construction vessel operated by Miklobostag Management. The onboard DC grid has been through rigorous full-scale tests in Twergi, Switzerland. I would say that the tests have been very successful. We saw a few... With the flick of a switch, this passenger ferry enters uncharted waters, becoming the first of its kind to be piloted remotely. The vessel is now under the control of a captain two kilometers away in an onshore control center in Helsinki. Data and images from an array of onboard sensors and cameras are displayed in real time, allowing the onshore operator to not only see the ferry's surroundings, but also to steer the vessel. So at the moment we have uh, several sensors measuring the the distances and the surroundings of the vessel. We have cameras, we have lighters, we have radars. Hello and welcome to the great Azipod race from ABB. Facing off today, we have two experienced ferry captains and two different propulsion systems. The traditional shaft line system and the Azipod by ABB. It promises to be a race like you've never seen before. I'm Amanda Artio, along with Mr. Azipod, ABB's Vice President of Technology, Jukka Varis. So what do we have coming up, Jukka? We have a state-of-the-art uh, arrangement in our marine house uh, in Helsinki. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a simulator system, and today we have two uh, ferry captains operating ferries into the port of Genoa in Italy. Uh, the other vessel is equipped with the conventional shaft lines, and the other one is equipped with the Azipod propulsion system. So here's the route into the harbour of Genoa, then a fast turn, then reverse the stern into the dock. On the bridge of the conventional shaft line ferry from Italy, we have Captain Pietro Esposito. And operating a ferry with an Azipod propulsion system, Captain Ulf Lindros from Finland. And now let's get started. What are the main things the captains have to consider when they're bringing these ships into port? Safety with passengers on board, uh, winds, gusts, all these things taken into action. You need to be able to dock the vessel as quickly as possible. Judging by the clock, Captain Lindros with the Azipod is in the lead. Yeah, with the sharp turn and the winds, you can see how easy it's to maneuver with an Azipod propulsion system. And uh, I've heard some stories of vessels that, namely cruise vessels, that had to skip some ports because of the weather. And those had uh, traditional shaft lines. And uh, meanwhile, the Azipod ported vessels were, let's say, getting into the same port without any problems. So does it make a difference for the passengers? Uh, there's less vibration, less noise, uh, the comfort is better. And then, of course, it's a big difference if you are able to operate in time.
there we have it. Captain Lindros with the Azipod system has docked and made fast. We'll call that finish 7 minutes 58 seconds. Captain Esposito with his shaft line ferry is still maneuvering. Let's take a look at the results now. There are lots of factors, but let's just boil it down to two key figures, time and fuel consumption. As we can see, not only did the Azipod vessel make it uh, faster, but also with less fuel consumption. And can you imagine this was done uh, by the captain who has never operated an Azipod vessel before? So let's find out what our winner thought of the experience. So how did that feel, Captain Lindros? It felt great, thank you. Uh, it was tremendous to, to drive a uh, Asipod system. What did you like best about it? Uh, it's, it's easy to maneuver, it's easy to use. Uh, you, don't any, you don't have to use any rudder. And um, yeah, it's easy to maneuver. It didn't surprise me that uh, Azipod outperformed conventional shaft lines. What came as a surprise was that the uh, difference was so big. There was a 20% saving on the time and berthing time and then 30% savings on fuel consumption. And you just can imagine how much difference that makes uh, when you count it throughout the year. Yeah. But just to eliminate the human factor mm. as much as we can, Let's let our captains switch propulsion systems, run the race again, and see what happens. Yep, let's do so. The captains are well matched, but once